Hey everyone, this is Angie Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a snowman treat box. If you've been around very long, you know I love snowmen and I think just about every year I do something snowman. So this is a snowman treat box. Isn't he so cute? So he has a box in the box is on the back end. I'm going to change this to turn the other way so it makes it easier to open. Um, I didn't think about that when I first put it on, but we're going to turn that around. But this is what I'm sharing today. You can put him on the back as well. Do one on the back if you want. I just thought it'd be easier to get at the treats this way. But wouldn't that be cute for a teacher or for a co-worker or even the kids? Just make them for your grandkids or your children. They're really, really adorable. And I love snowmen. They're just so fun. So this is what we're making today. So let's get started with him. So guess what I'm using, y'all? I'm using the Deckled Circles again. I told you you needed to get these. <laughs> if you haven't yet, you need to get these. These are in our holiday catalog, our mini catalog. And it is an, it's hard to find. So um, just look through that really carefully. I should have brought the catalog up here to tell you what page they're on, but these are so good and I knew I'd be using them a lot. And it's perfect for the snowman because it gives the edge a little bit of a, you can see it's the that deckled edge, so it gives it more character. So I love that. I am using, let me tell you what size this is here. It is the, it's about four and a half inches. So it's a pretty good size. It's four and a half inches, the circle. And then we are using, again, Brightest Glow. So y'all, there hasn't been many things that you've needed lately because I've been used the heck out of this one. It's got the best sentiments on here. It has New Year's Eve as well, but it has all Christmas ones here. And they're, they're so pretty. And then again, Magical Meadows dies. And I'm just using this for the little pine here and these holly that we're gonna put on his hat. So I already cut out the pine and the holly just to get through this a little bit quicker. So there's one pine and then I cut out three of the holly. And for the holly, I used this designer series paper. So if you saw my project on Tuesday, um, you saw the treat holder that I shared and I'll show it to you. It's sitting right here. So this is the treat holder that I shared on Tuesday. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's really cute. This is a door hanger. You can hang it on your neighbor's door or even a teacher's door would be really cute. Anything like that. But So that is the paper in green. So I'm using that because I love the gingham. <laughs> and I just wanted to add that a little bit more character. All right, so I cut all that out. So I'm going to cut the nose out, and what I used for the nose was this double double oval punch that we have, and I am using the top one. It's going to punch out both, but you can use a thinner, narrower piece um, for just the top one. So what I did here is I just used this as a base, and then I just cut this to look more like a carrot. So I just made it kind of curved it and brought it in a little bit smaller. Just like that. So that's his nose. Super easy to do. And it makes it, you can cut out your own nose if you want, but I thought this was the easiest way to do it. All right, and then I'm gonna tell you the measurements we need for all of this. You'll need, I'm using the thick basic white because this is perfect for box making. And this piece is 10 by six and a quarter. And then you are going to, of course, need the deckled circle for his face. And you're going to need some basic black. You're going to need it for his hat and for his eyes and his mouth. So for the hat, you'll need one piece that's five by one. And then I cut out two because I wanted the back to be covered as well. Because you can see it on the back. So I cut out a larger piece which is three and a half by two and a half, and then one that's three and a half by two and a quarter. That's gonna be for the back of the hat. And then you just need some real red for the berries. And then I'm using 
the polka dotted ribbon that I used also the other day. All this stuff was on my bench where I craft. So this is the real red and gold ribbon. This is a online exclusive. So if you're looking for that, just put online exclusive in the search bar when you go to shop. All right, I think that's it every, everyone. So let's go ahead and first make our little snowman. So I am using for him, I mean, let's put his hat on first. I found that putting on his hat was easier to do first. So we're not gonna do the back yet, but we're gonna just do the top. So I'm just gonna use wet glue for this. So we are going to, let's just attach this first to the hat. So just make it even, these sides even here. And then you're going to put that on him like that. You can put it on a little tilted if you want, um, just however you like it. I put it on straight, but I'm going to tilt it just a hair this time. I think that'd be cute. Okay, so I'm going to take my scrap black, and for his eyes, I am going to use a half inch circle punch. We don't have this anymore, but I'll link one in the description for you. So you're going to need two of those. I've been punching a lot out of this one piece. <laughs> and then we're going to use our regular hole punch here. And I punch, I did six of them. So just punch out six for his mouth. They're all over the place, but we're going to get them back. <laughs> Okay, did I get six here? Let's see if, we, see if one went under there. Looks like I, ha I have five. I swore I, pun I did punch out six, but the other one flew somewhere, I guess. So we're going to make one more. And then I used a scrap of basic white. And I just used my one eighth circle punch. Again, we don't carry this one, but this is for his eye, his eyeballs. <laughs> so I'm going to get those out. These are super tiny, and I should have grabbed my Take Your Pick tool. Oh, here it is, right here. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this on him here. I think I'm going to move up his eyes a little bit just a little to make room for his scarf because I didn't want it to go into his um, necktie that or scarf that we put on. I didn't want his mouth and stuff to go into that. So I'm going to just line these up where I want them. We're going to put some, I'm using my blends and I'm just using the petal pink and I'm going to do some cheeks, rosy cheeks on him. And you want to do this before you put his nose on because his nose kind of covers up some of that, that. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love snowmen. How many of you put in the comments if you love snowmen? <laughs> I just think they are super adorable. All right, so I'm going to grab his nose before we even put his mouth on there. I'm going to put his nose on. And do tilt his nose up a hair. And then I used my white marker. And then I just put some little lines here in his nose. Just to make it look more like a little carrot. Okay, and now we're going to just do his smile here, his little mouth. So we're going to start gluing these on. Try to just make them kind of even going across. I have my Take Your Pick tool, y'all, sitting right next to me, and look at I'm doing. Just like everybody was telling me to use the reverse 
tweezers for to hold a ribbon. You know, I know that. I just never grab them. I just, I don't know what it is. I'm just so used to using my hands for everything. We got one more there. These are so simple to make. You can even have your kids help you make these. They're super, super easy. All you have to do is make the box and let them decorate the face because he's so cute. I'm going to make this a little bit wider here. You can use ink to do this as well. And then I'm going to grab my piece for the sentiment. This piece is three and a half by five eighths. I forgot to put his little eyes on here. Let's do his eyes before I lose them. And I'll put one here and one here. Do not want to lose those. They're so tiny. There we go. Now, there you are. All right, so I'm going to grab my mat. We're going to stamp our sentiment here. And like they said, the sentiment's from Brightest Glow. I love this one, y'all. It's so good for all the sentiments it has. And then we're going to just see if I can get this on straight. There we go. And I really didn't need my mat for that because this is not a photopolymer. <laughs> We're going to put this on his hat. Just like that. And then we're going to make the, well, let's go ahead and finish off his hat. So we all we have to do is make the box and put him on the box. So I'm going to grab my pine needles. I love these pine needles, y'all. I don't know. They just remind me of, I don't know, maybe old-fashioned <laughs> um, pine needles or old-fashioned tree. I'm just going to cut these a little bit shorter. I just think they're so pretty. So we're going to put these on first. So put them however you like to put them. I like it hanging off. And then we're going to do three of these holly. I should just put it on here. So I'm going to do three of these. And I'm only doing the bottom part. I like when they stick up and they're not flat on the glued flat. All right, so we got those. Now I'm going to grab my piece of real red and we're going to just punch with the regular hole punch again, just three of these for the berries. So we're going to put three little berries on here. And there you go. His little hat's all ready to go. Isn't he so cute? Oh my gosh. I love, love snowmen. I don't know how many times I'll be saying that in this video. <laughs> all right, we're going to score now. So scoot that out of the way. We're going to score our piece here. And we're going to score it on the 10-inch side first. And you're going to score it at one half. Two five and a quarter, and six and three quarters. And then you're going to turn it on the six and a quarter inside and do it at one and a half, and four and three quarters. If you are, oh darn, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And share with your friends because all those things really, really help my channel. Also, what I was going to tell you is there's an inspiration sheet on my blog. It's stampingwithamora.com where you can download it and print. It has all the measurements on there. All right, so first thing we have to do is fix my little 
boo-boo there. Like I always do that. I never do that, y'all, when I'm just home crafting. But I do it every time I'm live. <laughs> Okay, so there's a half inch here and then a square. So you're going to cut this in half and then cut down the top. I know you all know what I'm doing here if you've been with me. I know I am making inside flaps because, yes, I love those things. So you can cut all the way down here and then cut this in half. These don't have to be perfect, y'all. It's just flaps. They help hold up the top of the box better, and it looks more professional. I try to make them as even as possible because, you know, they, they look nicer if they are even. But it doesn't matter. So then we're going to do this half-inch piece cut in on that. And this box is so easy, y'all. You're going to just cut on the sides. into those and then turn it and cut into the sides. Our thick um, cardstock is so good for boxes y'all. It makes really nice sturdy boxes. That's why I like to use the thick. The thin just doesn't seem to hold up as well. Our regular. It does for cards. It's perfect for cards. But I love this for the boxes. All right, let's sharpen these score marks. And now we're ready to put this all together. So I'm just gonna glue it, and I'm gonna glue, you're gonna do it on the inside here. On both of these ends here. And then you're just gonna pull this up. Put your little flaps inside and then just pull this up. And line up your sides here. Make sure you have your sides nice and lined up, though. So your box is really nice and square. If you get one side off, the other side's going to be off. And so here's our little flaps I talk about. And then it's just going to close like this. On this one, I think I'm going to use this half-inch hole punch and just put a little notch here, a half of a notch going to make it a little bit easier to open this but I am going to put this on the outside this time but this does help to just grab that a little bit you can use a three quarters inch as well whatever you like for that but I had the half inch right here so I'm using that all right so I'm going to flip this this way and we're going to grab our little snowman and we're going to put him on here I'm going to actually put it on here be careful don't get it on like the outside edges here. That's why I'm putting it on him just in the middle part. And then you just want to put him on just like this. And I'm going to use the same ribbon. I thought about tearing a piece of fabric that I have and using it, but I thought this ribbon's so cute. I'm going to just go ahead and use this. You can also use your gingham ribbon, anything you like like this. Now I'm going to show you a trick what I did here for my um, ribbon. I just took my glue dots, and you can see through this, so I just glued them all down, or I just put them all down here like that. And I'm only putting it on the front and the back. So I need one more right here. This helps to keep it, and it's exactly a good size. So then you can run it around your side and then turn it over and then just take your glue dots again. And then just put them on here. Pull that up and you have your place for your ribbon. It stays in place and then we can cut this and we can tie a bow or a knot. I'm not really tying a bow, I'm just tying a knot. Try to get your knot up at the top though. I'm trying to keep the polka dots all on the one side because this not, is not double sided ribbon. So I like to keep these a little bit longer because it is his 
And then I'm just going to use a glue dot here to hold these in place so that they're going, oops, lost my glue dot there. So I'll just put one under here and it holds that down and then I'll put another one under this one. Just like that. So it keeps it going like a scarf would. So y'all, that is it. Isn't he cute? Oh, I forgot the back. Okay, see, this is why I, I cut that extra piece because I didn't like the way that looked on the back. So we are going to add this piece right here on top. Doesn't that look nicer? <laughs> and there's just a little extra step there. All right, so, and I like this going this way better. They can get to the treats easier. So there you have it. There's the two little snowmen. Aren't he so, aren't they cute? I love it. It's just so cute. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you everyone for watching. If you need any supplies, here's my November host code. If you use it, if you place an order, I appreciate it if you use it. This is how I get to do giveaways every once in a while. I earn points and then I can um, give away more items more times. <laughs> so I hope you all have a blessed day. By the way, those of you who ordered last month when I had the gift, free gift, those will be going by the end of the month. I've been so busy with my baby shower and all that. I haven't had time to get all my cards finished. So that you will be getting those. So don't worry. I, I have, they're all have, some of them are ready to go. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.